RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Agritechnica 2023 in Hanover, Germany is brought to you by Optimum Glide, a new canola trait technology from Corteva AgriScience. Werner Tobin here at Agritechnica reporting for Optimum Glide, brought to you by Corteva AgriScience. I'm over at Kubota now, talking with Sumit. Sumit, um, Sumit tell me about uh, autonomous flying drones uh, yes. for uh, horticulture. Pretty amazing thing. Tell us what we're looking at. Yeah, so over here at Kubota, we are focusing on uh, creating new technologies in collaboration with different companies. Right now, we have uh, Tevel with us uh, in collaboration since 2021. Mm -hmm. We are hoping to mimic the hands of the actual harvester. So over here we are harvesting apples at the moment. And uh, yeah, what like I said, what it does is it mimics the hand of an actual harvester. So what the harvester is doing right now is plucks the trees, uh, plucks the apple, rotates the apple to disconnect it from the stem and pulls it back. So what the drones over here are doing, they suck the apple over here, so which is grabbing the apple. They rotate the apple from its stem so that it disconnects, you know, from the uh, shrub, and then it pulls back. Yeah. And what the uh, what the farmer or the harvester does is they put it in the bin. But when they throw it in the bin, it hurts the apple physically. Uh, and uh, when it starts to rot after a while. Uh, so the entire batch gets bad. Huh? So in order to uh, in order to avoid this, we are having a suspended uh, cushioned uh, trailer system. Quality control, here. basically. Exactly. Yeah. So our aim is to whatever the fruits that you're picking, you would be selling that fruit. Right. Right. So yeah, we are, uh, in addition to that, we have four camera sensors over here, which sees the apple. It, they are, they, uh, these are uh, these cameras are RGB uh, sensors, so we can know which are the red fruits and the green fruits. We have uh, calibrated it in such a way that it would only pick the green very fruit nice. or the ripe fruits. Very, yeah? nice. very nice. Hey, so tell us about it. I, I'm seeing eight drones yes. on, on on this apparatus. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming this this will flow uh, ride into the orchard and at We'll probably get our iPad out and put them to work, is that right? Yes, so what a farmer has to do, or we are hoping that it would do, mm -hmm. is just a tap of the button. It would do uh, to just say that, yeah, you're allowed to fly and, you know, pick the fruits. And it would do it all by itself. It has artificial intelligence over here. Yeah. They can fly. And they have multiple sensors on this side, as well as on the back, as well as on the bottom, right. to help them, you know, fly over and land back safely. So, yes, they, so, they can do everything by themselves. How much fruit could, an, uh, could this pick in a day, or at what speed, what's the capacity? So, we are hoping, after two years, when we commercially launch it, maybe it would be able to pick around 600 kilos of apple uh, in a day. In a day? Yes. Oh, wow. So the more important thing is we are tackling two important questions so one is a shortage of human labor which is you know it is alternate of a human labor and also the efficiency of the yield so this way while you know soft landing of the fruits over here it efficiently you know whatever the fruit that you're picking you would be selling that fruit right so hey so quality control yeah. and managing a labor issue um, Final question, that is, you mentioned prototype, uh, two years testing. Yeah. Might we be a couple of years away from commercialization? Is that? Yeah, absolutely. So at the moment, we are testing it in Italy, mm -hmm. uh, in the Mazzoni farms. And uh, yeah, this week, we are testing it in uh, Pink Lady farms, right. also in Italy. Right. So it would be, we have to test it in different environments. It's still a prototype at the moment. So we have to see how it goes and uh, yeah. We hope that it would be commercial soon. Awesome. I know Canadian farmers, North American farmers would love to see this. Um, Sumit, thank you so much for making some time for Real Agriculture at Agritechnica. Thank you so much.